let's talk. Disclaimer! Do not go after Celeste over this. Do not go after the new voice actress, Lottie. Do not attack Glitch or anyone involved. I am just explaining my side of what's going on. Celeste has a lot more on her end. Like, to sum it up, she's got receipts. Like, she's been able to communicate with uh, Luke and Jasmine, who's one of the heads of Glitch Productions. Uh, she's been able to speak to them more. I've sent them emails. They did not reply to said emails. But regardless, my reaction is mostly from what Celeste has been going through. Am I going to show these said receipts and explain what she's going through? Not until she's comfortable. Like, I've told her that I can speak about this in my video when I'm addressing the situation. She's just not sure what to do because she's not a social media person. All she knows right now is that she just feels devastated and heartbroken over this confusing situation. So until she's comfortable exposing more information, I'm just gonna give you what I have on my end. So basically, I'm at work on Sunday and I get a message from David, the voice of luck, saying that he's freaking out. Like, he's just like, who the F is this new person? And I'm like, context, buddy, I'm at work, <laughs> bruh. And he reveals to me that Celeste was no longer voicing Tari. And I'm like, okay, there has to be a reason. Like, maybe she was too busy or something came up or she's been busy with her theater productions. So maybe she just doesn't have time anymore. So he contacted her, he contacted her first, and he replied to me saying, yeah, she just found out after I asked her. And I'm like, what? So we're basically messaging her left and right, being like, girl, what the hell is going on? Like, why did you get replaced? So she's confused, she's trying to figure out what's going on. And she's contacted new voice actor Lottie, which she's got a screenshot of the conversation. I'm not comfortable sharing that unless she's comfortable sharing that. If I am to basically sum up the conversation, it's Lottie didn't know. I feel comfortable disclosing that information because I, again, I don't want you to attack Lottie. Lottie has nothing to do with this. All I know about Lottie is she just sent an email to Glitch being like, hey, you know, I want to throw my hat in the ring. I want to be a part of this too. If you got any auditions, I would love to audition. And that's when Jasmine offered her the role as Tari. And Lottie apparently hadn't thought nothing of it and just assumed that, you know, maybe Celeste wasn't doing the voice anymore and just happily took the role. She was never told otherwise. So again, do not attack Lottie. Lottie has nothing to do with this. And that's like the only like bit of background information I got from Celeste that I'm gonna disclose on. Because again, don't attack Lottie. I emailed Kevin and Luke about it, being like, yo, what gives? What is going on? What is all this? And I didn't get an email response back. So I'm just assuming maybe they just don't read their emails or respond to any emails. Celeste has been able to get a hold of Luke and Jasmine. They said their side of the story. And that was when Celeste made the decision to go public, being like, yeah, I wasn't told. Because there were plenty of people on Twitter, X, whatever, being like, oh, well, she stepped down because, you know, she's raising twins and, you know, she is probably busy doing other acting stuff and her theater stuff. So it's understandable and we just wish her all the best. That wasn't the reason. So Celeste went public saying, hi, OG voice of Tari here. Uh, no, I was never told of this. I was never told that I was getting replaced. And so like everyone on Twitter is just acting so confused. Like why would Kevin and Luke do this? Why would they just suddenly replace Tari and not tell Celeste? Why would they do this? And people are waiting for an answer. It has been like 24 hours as I'm recording this and there's been no official statement from Glitch or SMG4. Watch there be a statement right when I release this video. All we really got was a screenshot of a conversation from Jasmine via Discord. 
And because the, the person released it on X, I'm going to disclose it here. Add here, hey, my name is Jasmine, and I'm the voice director for Glitch and SMG4. I wanted to talk directly to the SMG4 community about something that you may have seen on Twitter recently and clear up any concerns or confusion. If you hadn't seen it, the voice actor for Tari was recently replaced with a new actress. But with the real sticking point being that Celeste hadn't been told and is understandably upset. To make everything clear, this was entirely on me, and I apologize to everyone. As voice director, the VA's well-being is under me, and the very simple answer about it is, is that I forgot to notify her. That's entirely it, with no excuses or reasoning behind it. I've reached out to her as well as our other VAs to apologize for this terrible mistake, but yeah, it's entirely on me for not doing something I was supposed to do, and I fully accept if anyone is angry or upset at me, as it is well-deserved. Why the replacement happened, I feel, is not something to disclose outside of me and Celeste personally and without her permission. Right now, all I could say at this point is sorry to anyone upset by what's happened or if it feels like someone at SMG4 betrayed your trust as a community, because I did. It is not the standard we uphold here in the studio and as the voice director and even as a voice actress myself, I fail to uphold it. Like the whole sentence of why the replacement happened, I feel is not something to disclose outside. You know, I get that. It's a very personal thing, but at the same time, Celeste told me why it happened and I'm just raging. I just, I am just flabbergasted. I am confused. I am shocked over this whole situation. Like, this isn't something that we'd ever expect from Glitch just to forget that the very person that helped them, you know, to start off with Glitch Production, one of their very first voice actresses, to just drop her, uh, just drop her like that. After six years, I still remember when the four of us, me, David, Celeste, and Jess, went to their first studio, recording our lines for the first two episodes of Meta Runner, and she was, like, hugely pregnant. She had her twins, and she still just acted her heart out. She just put so much heart and soul into every line. And the hardest part was, if you remember the scene from episode two, where Tari was screaming, in excruciating pain because the task corp scientists were trying to chisel away at her meta arm trying to get her out of the game and she's just in agonizing burning pain <laughs> she's doing all that screaming while pregnant and there's me just david and i think luke was there as we we're holding up sound foam boards over her because this wasn't really a traditional studio it was just a house and our vo voices were resonating with the fans, so we had to have like sound foam over her just so we wouldn't get that in the recording. For her to go through all of that while pregnant just showed just how dedicated she was to this character. She loves Tari, she loved the fans, and for Glitch to drop her with an oopsie, sorry, uh, we forgot to tell you that we're dropping you. I'm at a loss of words. There was a lot more to this situation, but again, this is something that Celeste has to disclose, not me. And again, I, I can't say it enough. Don't go attacking her. Do not go attacking Lottie. And don't attack Glitch for this. This is just something I'm disclosing on my end as to what's happening. And I did make an announcement because of this situation that from here on out, I'm, I'm stepping down as SMG2. And I've had a few people message me begging me to stay because, you know, SMG2 is a fun character and he is a fun character. Like the <laughs> the way that I auditioned for him was just priceless. Um, we were when I still used to be a writer at Glitch um, and they were looking for new voices for these characters. Um, they were basically saying that, like, SMG2 has the personality of Gur and I love Invader Zim. And I liked imitating Gur, so when we were, each of us in the studio were auditioning, I just submitted my take. I just did the best impersonation of Gur that I could do. <laughs> I didn't get to sing the theme song. Do, 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 do. Something like that. And I got the role. Just for doing a very bad Gur impersonation. And I've loved voicing that character, the fact that I got to be a part of a Wat Feast song. Can't let you do that cause it's our turn to enter fun! Time to repent for the massive of sins that you've done! Can't let you do that cause it's our turn to enter fun! I won't forget that. I won't forget the fun that I've had with Glitch and voicing Theo 
voicing the SMG2 and all the other extra characters that are in the background. I voiced little children in Sunset Paradise. I even did the lip flaps and eye animation for that series, so... The, the time and the memories I have with Glitch, I'll never forget. This is something that I'm just deeply shocked over. Like, I still can't believe that this is happening. Like, to sum it up, I, I think it's just a story of they got like too big, too fast, and it's all going to their heads. They're working on bigger, better things. They have the one animated pilot on YouTube with the most amount of page views, which is a feat of its own. Like, congratulations on that. That is very impressive. But now we have screenshots of reviews from animators disclosing just how bad it was working for Glitch Production, and now this happening to one of my dearest friends, just one of the sweetest and most talented women I know. For this to happen to her, I just want there to be a better explanation than just whoopsies we forgot to tell you. I have also received messages from former animators. I'm not going to disclose their names because I don't want anyone to harass them. But first of all, when I saw them message me, I was just like, <gasps> I miss him. The first one basically saying, uh, OMG, just saw the Celeste situation. That's horrible. Uh, I'm so glad this is coming to light because the employees have also been expressing dissatisfaction with Glitch for a while. Did you know that like 80% of the people who worked in Meta Runner have all quit due to upper management at Glitch, including me? So there you go. I'm reaching out in regard to the recent events that have happened over Glitch, and I'm really sorry this is happening to you guys too. It was not just animators, but entire department managers leaving after Meta Runner closed up store. The Meta Runner cast are wonderful, and I hope we can still stay connected. There was a lot more to this. Celeste, it's up to her to decide if she wants to tell you or not. She's still processing over what to do, how to address it, but she's devastated. She is heartbroken. And there wasn't even like a fond farewell of like, thank you for the memories, thank you for all you've done. You would think for someone who's been with your production for so long and dedicated her time and energy into everything that you gave her to do this. I expected better from Glitch. I really did. Don't worry guys, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm.